はい。えっ、ー、はい。How you doing? I'm doing great. By the way, I love your bandana. <laughs> Thank you. you. Actually, with that on, you look like a professional chef or something. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you. My hair, my hair is messy because I kind of slept off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I understand. Hello, everybody. Oh, good evening to most because it's like 10 o'clock at night over at Star's part of the world. If、yeah. you guys know who Star is,、um, Star Homestead India. Hi. He's from India and、um, he has his own little homestead over there. And he has chickens and rabbits and turkeys. And、um, he has a very interesting channel because he can grow all the cool stuff that I can't grow here in Northeast Ohio. <laughs> So it's pretty cool.、Um, this portion of my show is just a, you know, this is what we do for members, usually members only, as we do herbal things, lots of different cool stuff behind the scenes. So if you want to be a member and stay a member, it is only 99 cents a month, and you can be a member of the channel and partake in these. And、um, I'm going to have an herbal class at the end of the month. Um, I've had it in my head. I'm going to start talking about herbal antibiotics and stuff like that. And it's been in my head now for almost a month because why? Because I've been sick <laughs> for almost a month. So I'm getting really sick of being sick. And、um, I refuse to take antibiotics.、Um, and so, therefore, I'm looking up other herbal techniques. And you can join me、uh, later on this month. And that journey to find different herbal techniques. And I have been drinking wine and I have been taking tons of vitamins. So I believe that it has kept me from getting worse. And I'll tell you why. My husband yesterday went to a, the clinic to get antibiotic because he was just feeling horrible and he has an ear infection. Okay. And my son had an ear infection and a science infection. Guess who didn't have an ear infection? This girl right here. And so I believe it's because I've been taking vitamins and tons of vitamins to keep myself from being sick and drinking wine that has antioxidants. Wine is very good for you not to just drink to get drunk, it's good medicinally when you are sick. So that's something to think about. So at the end of this month, I will do. Probably a little herbal research with my members only, and we can talk about herbal antibiotics and stuff to help you when you are sick. Speaking of which, at noon here, in about 10 more minutes, we are going to be doing a turmeric or turmeric, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> I've heard it pronounced so many freaking ways, it's so annoying. I always say turmeric, not turmeric, but whatever floats your boat. Um, <laughs> I we will be doing that, and this is even more interesting because Star has raised this turmeric himself, he has grown this himself. It is from his garden, which makes it even better. It's the raw form of turmeric is so good for you. There's a lot of crap in the stuff that you can just buy from the store, and I'm sure he can talk about that as well. All the crap that's in it that's not good for you. Um, and and stuff like that, but thank you guys for coming and supporting the channel.、Um, I've been having a lot of issues lately with people just like not showing up and、um, you know, losing members and stuff like that. So, I just want to put it out there that we appreciate all of our members here, and、um, I don't know what's going on. I think it's just this time of year where people are just. Exhausted, and I know I have been, and I haven't been on in a month because really I haven't been on that much because I've just been so tired and I've been so sick. So, you know, I have that going on, but、um, we appreciate all of our members. Please consider if you're not a member to be a member. Like I said, it's 99 cents a month, it doesn't it's $12 a year to be a member here, and、um, we do giveaways and all different kinds of stuff.、Mm. Yep. 
just got up and you're still waiting for coffee. Dude, I wish I could drink coffee, seriously, mm -hmm. because it's the only thing that I feel like gives me enough caffeine to just like get me through the day. And I don't really want to drink pop, but it's like, I need something. Well, um, yeah, so I'm eating chocolate. Thank you, Tammy, for being here. I appreciate you. Who else is in the house? Sorry, guys. Uh, Michelle no, Crochet. <laughs> uh, I asked her to come in, so she, she's here. Hendo is for, first. Um, we have Garden State Gardener. Hendo is all the way from the UK, so thank you for being here. Um, I'm sorry. My melon here cuts people off and I can't read their full name. So give me one second here. Okay. So Hendo was first, Garden State Gardener. William mm -hmm. of Ravenshire, thank you so much for being here. Um, we appreciate you. Um, hopefully you'll wanna be a member, that'd be wonderful. Um, Gardener Josh is in the house. He's actually doing this on his lunch break. So thank you so much for supporting the channel in any way that you can. Michelle Crochets in Kansas, thank you so much for being here. Thor, as usual, you support my channel. I really appreciate you for being here. Um, who else is on my list here? K uh, Callie King, thank you so much for being here. Passa McQuaddy, she's getting her coffee. Homestead Aquarius, thank you for being here and supporting my channel. Um, if I missed you, I apologize. That is not my goal, but I am a horrible reader. <laughs> and when it moves up like that, I forget. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Storm. Thank you for being here. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I set up lots of different platforms um, so I can share myself out. And I have Facebook. I have my business page where I have a actual wide family farm um, group on Facebook. And I have a WhatsApp. And um, I share myself out on multiple different groups. This has been up all week as well. And so I've been, and I've shared in the members only, I shared in the community tab. I've been, you know, announcing this all week. So it's, it's, I get kind of irritable when I've announced it so many times and like, it's just like, I don't understand. Like, it's like YouTube's not doing their part. So with that being said, we're going to start here in a couple minutes. Star, would you like to introduce yourself and would you like to just talk a, a little bit about turmeric and and your, how you planted it and stuff like that? Sure. Hi. Hello, everyone. I'm Star Homestead India. <laughs> Not me, my channel. <laughs> um, people call me Star. Um, it's 10.30 p.m. in the night. Um, so uh, I planted this turmeric around eight months ago um it's it's usually a nine month crop here but um i think the, the time i got the tubers it was already a month um sprouted so i just had to wait another eight months um while i was raising uh, while i was growing this turmeric plant um, people actually gave me free advices here locally somebody said do not water the plants um so much because they thrive in the hot climate and all some said just water them every day but i went with my gut um i have seen the leaves whenever you water the leaves turn green and they actually grow bigger and uh, this uh, other part of the garden i did not water that much because people were constantly giving me free advices and all and the tubers like they came yay big or like really small the harvest was not good and that the, from that uh, that uh, part of the garden where i didn't uh, water them every day but um the other side where i watered every day i was able to get uh, a proper harvest you know the tubers are really good in size and and the aroma was really great when i was digging it up i used i used a trowel uh but that was not effective so i had to use my uh, hands are they really hard to pull out of the ground 
Ah uh, yes, I yeah. tried yanking them out with the uh, holding of the leaves, the stem and all, but uh, the stem just broke off, so it was not easy. I had to dig the earth around the tubers with my <laughs> hands and all. So um, I did get few cuts because there were some sand particles inside, some rocks, hard rocks and all. Um, but I was able to get it out. But get this. Your your, sm your hands will smell like turmeric for rest of the day, even though if you use soap and water and you know wash it really. <laughs> but it's a good smell though, and I, I like the smell. Um, and also I dried it for a few days. Every morning, it's even though it's springtime, uh, but it, it is like summer here. It's like thirty one degrees, thirty three degrees Celsius in the afternoon times. So. Um, it's really a uh, perfect temperature to dry the turmeric uh, in that uh, conditions. Um, now, the drying form, is that just like hardening? Is that kind of like a potato where you have to harden it off? Is that what you're doing when you're drying it? Yeah, uh, uh, it almost off? like that. So it, okay. it actually it shrinks down and uh, becomes the actual tuber that you can uh, grind it up or make it into powder. Because if you go and buy turmeric in um in the supermarkets most of the supermarkets here no matter what brand they label them it's sawdust they use wow. sawdust and coloring which actually looks like a turmeric color but it's not as red as it's supposed to be like that red hue or something mm -hmm. the color uh, uh, you can see you can you can actually see the difference um small uh, particles of turmeric will actually give you a lot of smell and taste to your curries or the food that you want to add to uh, but if you if it's a store bought turmeric then you might be using a lot of like you put a lot still you'll not get that aroma or taste because it's mostly sawdust <laughs> and yeah. other stuff so and also it's, it's expensive it's really expensive even here it's expensive so um, yeah, I would like to grow it like in my basement, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I got like things like jicama as well. And I got like jicama seeds. You know what jicama is? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> oh, it is like a it's like a I guess it's only grown in Mexico, but it's like a it's it's like a potato, but it takes like 6 months to grow from seed. Okay. So I'm like, I have things like that as well, but I just, I'm afraid to grow. I'm afraid to like get it started for some reason. Some of the seeds and stuff that I've can like that I've got or whatever are kind of expensive. So I'm like, if I start this and I fail at it, then I fail in money as well because it was yeah. super expensive. Yeah. So I hesitate on it. But can you can also you can eat every part of the turmeric? Can you can you not? You can eat the leaves too, right? Uh, people make tea out of leaves. Um, my chickens ate all the leaves, so I couldn't get the chance to make a tea <laughs> out of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. That's uh, that's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my ducks they will eat all of that too they ate i i had like i was towards the end of the year so i didn't really care that much but i had like sweet peppers grown in the garden and they ate all the leaves off of that like they my peppers were like little sticks in the ground <laughs> like, okay they really liked them it was pretty funny yeah um thank you for coming in nova world i'm gonna subscribe to you um, you sound like a pretty interesting Nova channel. Nova World N O V A World. That, that should be one of my uh, friend, I guess. Nova oh, okay. Cool. Might be. I'm, not sure. I'm subscribing. Thank you. Yep. Uh, if I you could it. actually grow a ginger. Um, if if you could grow ginger in a place, I guess you can grow turmeric as well because both are uh, tubers. I guess. 
they, they look like ginger. Um, I don't know what conditions ginger grows in, but we also grow ginger here. I never tried it in my garden, but I do have plants to grow ginger in the future. Interesting. Now, does does ginger take as long as turmeric? Approximately around eight months, yes. Yeah. That's a long time. That's kind of makes turmeric and ginger and things like that. That kind of makes them um, really sought out things because it takes so long for them to produce. Yes. <clears throat> Hello, Rebel. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for being a member. I appreciate you. And um, thanks for coming in. Bring it in in the winter. Yeah. I am now growing ginger indoors this year. Started it from the store. Uh, oh, cool. Started it from store-bought ginger. That's awesome. That's pretty oh. cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I thought about doing it in my basement. The chipmunks got my garlic last year. Oh, jerks. Do you know what a chipmunk is? Do you have them in your area? Oh, yes. Uh, we call them as squirrels, but they are not squirrels. They are chipmunks. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we do have chipmunks. They're very annoying. They are, they, yeah. And they make holes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they stored so many uh, almond nuts um, near the windowsill. There's a hole there. I mm -hmm. took them out. There's so many nuts. Maybe <laughs> around like a one kilo or two kilograms of nuts. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, really nice. when they have them all in their face. <laughs> their face is all like swollen up, like <laughs> they stored them in there. Yeah. <laughs> One of my kittens actually caught a bee, the bee stung on its face. I <laughs> 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 like the swollen up, like chipmunk with almonds in, it, in its mouth. We, we do have almond trees as well. We harvest almonds and we eat them. That's cool. Yeah. Better than uh, store bought. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Okay, guys. I don't know what you have to do to prepare or if you have already prepared. Um, so we can go ahead and get started. We're already eight minutes in. Um, okay. And here we go. Oops. It's not what I wanted. See if I can reverse that. All right. <laughs> oh, this thing. Sometimes it doesn't like me. Let me do that. Boom. <laughs> okay. Um, if I get in the oh shoot. <laughs> if I get in the way, I will just take myself out completely. <laughs> Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> there we go. So, um, I don't, yeah, go oh, ahead, please. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Thank you guys for coming in. Don't forget to be a member. It is only 99 cents a month. Um, and um, we appreciate all of our members. Um, what else? I can't think of anything right now. Um, we've got some videos coming out. And then, of course, Shed Wars will be starting here before too long. Let me take this text down so you can see my face. All right, and um, he is going to go ahead and get started. Oh, shoot. I was trying to move myself out of the way. I guess it doesn't want me to. All right, and go ahead whenever you are ready, Star. You have the show. Okay, all right. Um, so these are the turmeric tubers that I have harvested. Um, can you all hear me clearly? I know it's in the night, so it's usually the background night. There are no background noises here. Uh, so Corky will be guiding me what to do with this, how to do this, not what. Where is she? Where are you? I'm here. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm here. Sorry. Okay. So I you could hear me if I was backstage, but you can. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. So these are the okay. This is the with these uh, this turmeric is with the tuber you now the middle part of the tuber some people use it but usually it's very hard 
in the sense you need to filter it out you can't use it in your um, curries directly if you take it to a turmeric machine one that actually grinds it into a powder they will just put the whole thing in it but if you remove and separate them like in this fingers like structures without the tuber then you get proper turmeric like you don't have to get all of um, even the wastage this is this the, the you, you can't extract turmeric from this yeah so yeah mm. you can actually grind them at home for powders uh, you can peel them off with a peeler or you can use a knife to clean all of this um you know the shell the warts and all just like ginger how how you clean that it's the same way um i also got the honey as well uh, from i tried the local uh, honey but there were no wild honey bees anywhere they had but it was winter uh -huh. so i got this uh, this is the best next best in the market so i'm not going to talk about the brand name because i don't know i don't want it's to fine yeah. as long as it's like as long as it's not messed around with it's raw right <laughs> yeah, yeah you're fine <laughs> hey glenn thanks for coming in thanks guardian outdoors and fitness if you guys aren't familiar with guardian prepping they have a whole nother channel which is the guardian outdoor and fitness so go over there and subscribe um to their channel as well and what are you putting um the turmeric in do you have a mason jar or what are you putting it in um i i have a small jar i don't know whether it's a mason jar but i do have a glass jar okay and also have a plastic jar um i forgot to get the jar one i'll get okay. the jar okay no they're fine <laughs> yeah. take your time <laughs> You guys have any questions so far as far as making the turmeric infused honey? It's not, we haven't really begun, but I'm just asking if you have any questions first. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I'm eating chocolate. The sky is blue because it reflects the ocean. Any other questions? Hmm. Good question. <laughs> it looks like ginger as well. Same sort of prep. Yeah. I think any root vegetable, you have to harden it off first. And that's the same with like carrots and stuff like that. You just set them out for a while and let them get hard. And I know that's the same like with seed potatoes before you plant them. You know, set them out for a couple of days. Especially if you chitted them, if you cut them up, you want that outside layer to get hard before you put it in the ground. I love that movie. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. <clears throat> um, you can use it. Um, the infusion usually takes about six to eight weeks. It's about six to eight weeks, and then you have to stop it from fermenting. Once you stop it from fermenting, then you can use it. And you can leave it on your counter or whatever. Um, a lot of people, you can put it in your fridge. It'll stop the fermentation process. Um, if you don't feel like boiling it, but your honey is going to get really hard. So I will let you know the process here when we're done. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I actually, 
and I don't know if I should be saying this, I'm not a doctor by all means, but I'm really, really into herbal remedies. And my while back, probably about a year or so ago, my husband um, had ripped his, torn his rotator cuff and he was in tremendous pain. And I would make him just regular turmeric. It wasn't like um, anything, any pill form. And it wasn't um, any like store bought turmeric. It was just like my spice turmeric that I got from the spice rack. And I would take a teaspoon of that and put it in his tea. And I'd make him drink that and it would help him tremendously. It helped him tremendously. And um, it's not medicine like taking popping pills or, <clears throat> you know, stuff like that. So it really helped his inflammation. There are some things turmeric cannot help with. Okay, guys. I would say like, <clears throat> for instance, if you cut your finger off or something like that, I wouldn't go and down some turmeric in hopes that it's going to stop the pain. Or keep you from going to the emergency room because it's not going to do that. However, if you just have some inflammation um, somewhere, um, say for instance you ran, you ra did, did a jog, and your your muscles are just sore and tight, you can pop some turmeric pills or make some turmeric tea, and it will stop inflammation. And it's better than taking Advil and stuff like that. Can we put plants home garden? <clears throat> I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Don't even know what that means, but turmeric, chocolate, and honey, and a little capsaicin. Capsaicin is really good for you. You just have to watch if you're on blood thinners. But capsaicin is really good for you. Um, they say it actually will help with arthritis. My dear Courtney, the sky looks blue because the blue light waves are scattered in the shorter reflect. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Jeez. Hard crowd. <laughs> so if the ocean was red, are you saying that the, that the sky would be red? I'm, I'm so confused on that. <clears throat> and is it really light or is it photons coming from the sun? This is going to be another another topic. <laughs> it would be fun. Yes. And if it started to rain frogs, I think I would laugh a little bit. The sky is red and there's frogs coming from the sky. Interesting note. I was told by someone that adding a touch of pepper to your turmeric helps with the uptake. Yes, it does. Um, it does. The pepper... It helps with your stomach. Sometimes turmeric is really hard on your stomach. And so and the pepper will also help. Um, but yeah, it helps. It helps your body process it and stuff like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Star must have had to make the jar himself. He will be back. No, no, no. no. He had to go um, to the glass blower. <laughs> yeah, um, I forgot a few things. Um, so I have a small jar uh, as well as big. Uh, I don't know which one should we use for this. I have the A size. Okay. I have a B size as well. It just depends on how much honey you have. Let's do the small jar first. I don't okay. that. Yeah, sure. We'll do the small small sure. one first. Small one. Um Okay. All right. Mm. All right. So go ahead and we'll fill it up to the brim with turmeric. Okay. I will quickly uh, remove the shell do you want the shell on or do you want me to do something i you don't have to do that i think actually with the shell on it i think it would only enhance the taste and the flavor in the honey as much as possible so i think you're good okay 
what about the endings should i cut them chop them to open the exposed root like this or should i keep them like this oh no you can chop it that's fine okay however you want to do it to get, get as much turmeric okay. in there as possible okay <clears throat> I'm going to cut her here with some knives. I'm chopping the ends, both the ends, because it looks good. <laughs> Sometimes they look like earth ones. Thanks, new people, for coming in. Right now, Star is chopping up the turmeric a little bit. <laughs> Scoring it a little bit so he can put it in his jar. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, he's going to whip us up something to eat because he looks like a chef. <laughs> um, sure. Um, mostly vegetarian, so I can feed you chicken. Hey, if you all come to <laughs> India, <laughs> chicken and fish. Um, how about now? Shall I put some more? Yeah, if you want to, however, you want to do it. I'll put some more. I Maybe do have I'm a big headset. Would that would that amuse you, Thor? Here we go. And now. <laughs> and now he's going to put more turmeric in the jar. <laughs> yeah, that's how they do that, right? In some programs. I've seen that. They're just like, you know, <laughs> probably race cars thing. And, you know, not race cars. <laughs> This one looks like a Godzilla stain you know, with the tips and all. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's all see right. the jar. What do we got here? Okay. Perfect. Hey, Ginger Ninja. Thanks for coming in. And he has a small, we're using a small jar for right now. You can yeah. use a bigger jar if you have more honey or if you have a gallon of honey. Honey is so expensive though. You have yeah. your own honey from your own hives and it doesn't cost anything for you. And do that but um uh, using a smaller jar is fine that's what he's using so what we're going to do then is he's just going to put the honey in the jar and fill it up to the brim not all the way just to the first half because you don't want it to overflow you want to leave a little bit of space in there yeah i just don't want you to get make a honey mess that's all Can y'all see? <laughs> this might be a while. <laughs> I could actually squeeze, but <laughs> I don't want to slip uh, the jar in. You know, okay. <laughs> uh, if something happens, I can't even clean up in the night. <laughs> it's filling up a little bit, so we're good there. <laughs> <laughs> It's like trying to cut my own hair because when I see the camera, it looks different. Uh, when I see here, it looks different. I mean, maybe the angle. <laughs> yeah, you can do that, Ginger. You can do, you can pretty much do anything in honey. You can ferment anything in honey. Should I? Yeah, really? yeah probably to that first brim right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah to the first little brim and then you have headspace. Yeah, because you don't want it to right about there. Perfect. Right there. Oh, no, no, stop, stop. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. There you go. There you go. You just don't want too much because if it does ferment and stuff, it's going to be a mess. And you don't want that. Uh, don't they have to go inside? yeah if you can push it down you want to make sure that the honey is covering everything 
If not, you okay. might get mold, and you don't want that. Oh. Yeah, no molds. And when yeah, you want to make sure the honey is covering everything. Yeah, you could just push it down in there. <clears throat> if you feel like you've had have too much in there, you can take some out. That will be a mess, though. But go and check. Go and check. Tamarik right. needs some spank. <laughs> yeah, they did. That's good. Oh. Right. Uh, can, do you want me to put some more honey? Just to... yeah, if you want to, you can put a little bit yeah. more in. Just be careful and don't like fill it, overfill it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep, you're good. It looks good. It looks like it's yeah, it's covered. Perfect. Now he wants he want to put a lid on it. Do you have a lid for that jar? Yes, uh, but it's in the kitchen. Um, You're uh, fine. What is what he's going to do? What he should do is put a lid on it. Okay. Put a lid on it, and then you can set it in the window. Now, you can set it in a window. Your area of the country gets super hot, right? Yes. Okay. So you're going to want to keep an eye on it. It's okay that it warms up. Okay. We're going to keep an eye on it because I don't want it to be like 90 degrees in your window and your turmeric honey concoction just leaking all over your windowsill because yeah. it's like ridiculously <laughs> hot. So you can put it in your windowsill with the lid. Now, every day for, you know, however long you want to do it, you could do it for six weeks. You could do it for eight weeks. Okay. Now, every day you want to burp your jar. If you do not, the honey will explode. Sorry, what? The burp like this? Yeah, you'll just take the lid off and okay. then put it back on. Oh, okay. So no need to spank. Oh, yes, yeah, so you want to let the air out of the jar because if you don't, it will build up heat and pressure in there and your honey will be a mess. It'll either leak out of the lid or the jar will explode. You don't oh. want that. Yeah. Because no. you're fermenting it. Also, when you're done after the eight weeks, okay, you want to strain it. And then you like also, once you strain it, you kind of want to boil the honey a little bit. You don't want to boil it too much. There's a certain temperature that you want to keep your honey at. And I'll tell you here in a second. I forget okay. the numbers. Uh, please also... Uh, say that in Celsius as well. Yeah, uh, that's why I was trying to. Okay, good. It gave me Celsius. That's what I was worried about. Oh, I think so. Okay. Um, that's not it. Okay. 125 degrees Fahrenheit is what you want to boil it at. And um, uh, hold on. I'm going to try and find the Celsius for that. Hey, Siri, what is 145 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 145 degrees Fahrenheit is 62.8 degrees Celsius. OK, so once you're done fermenting, just stop it from fermenting so you can like leave it on your counter and not have okay. it explode <laughs> um is actually 62.8 degrees celsius so you can get a thermometer okay okay yep. uh -huh. and i when i did it i kind of double boiled it so i didn't burn my honey or you know it's up to you how you want to do it um okay. i took all you could take all the turmeric out of it and you can strain it and then boil the honey you don't really boil it you just make sure it gets up to temperature at 145 degrees Fahrenheit or 62 degrees Celsius. Once you do that, it stops fermenting. And it at that temperature as well, it keeps all the properties in the honey. That's another thing you want to worry about because you want to keep the honey with all the nutrients in it. Because yeah. you can overboil the honey and then you don't all you have is sugar and you don't want that. 
So you want to keep it at 145 degrees Fahrenheit or 62 degrees Celsius. Thank you, uh, Michelle, for coming in. Hello, Racine. Racine or Racine with lots of tips and tips, socks. Cool. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you. Did you guys have any questions out there about the turmeric in the honey concoction here? Now, you can do anything. Like, if you want to put uh, ginger in there, you can do that. Um, I made a whorehound honey, and I put whorehound in there. Whatever you feel is going to be a good combination, you can put garlic in there. Um, garlic is a really, you know, they say it's it's nature's antibiotic. So, I mean, you could put that in there as well. And, um, you know, however you would like to do it. I'll get the lid to close it. I'm sorry? I'll get the lid to close the jar. Okay. He's going to get the lid. Super healthy. Just add garlic. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that however you want. And a lot of people do this before cold and flu season. And they can add it to their teas. They can add it to, I don't know how good honey is in coffee. But if that's what you want to do, you can put it in your coffee if you want, I guess. No, it won't as long as you boil it, Ginger. If you boil it, and no, don't boil it, but it has to be at 145. I keep saying boil. You have to heat it up on the stove. And you want to heat it to 145 degrees Celsius, or, or I mean Fahrenheit, and 62 degrees Celsius. If you don't, you're going to have a mess. Also, if you guys don't have a heated window or an area to put it on, if you guys have plant mats that you can use, that you use for your plants, that heat up, it's like a giant heating pad. You can use those as well. So you can use that and leave your honey concoctions on a heated mat um, for six to eight weeks. Okay. I take it as a shot. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, that man, that's rough. Garlic and stuff is really potent. Oh, it's delicious, huh? In coffee? Ah, I don't know. In your coffee? Thank you, camper. Okay. I have used honey in my coffee. It's great. Okay, cool. I don't know. I've never used honey in coffee. I've only ever used it in tea. So um, if that's what you prefer, you can do that. You can, and a lot of people don't like the taste of turmeric. Um, I'm one of those people that don't even like the smell of turmeric. So, uh, <laughs> and Star comes from a different part of the world where turmeric is used in pretty much everything, in curries and food and everything. And so he's used to it. He's used to the smell of it and he's used to eating it. So it's very earthy. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yes. So, oh, they sell the shots at my health spa. Cool. We, uh, when, like when we have the chickens come out of their shells, right? The first day or second day, we use turmeric water. Uh, it acts like an antiseptic and also it promotes their, um, uh, their, what do you call it? The hunger, the sense that they start eating right nice. now, first day yeah see there's so many things that turmeric needs to really be researched in yeah because they can do so much good so i didn't know that about the chickens our farm world here that we have on youtube our community our farm community probably would really benefit from that information so thank you for sharing that yeah. <clears throat> Oh, okay. You keep the jars in the laundry room. That makes sense. That makes sense. I just kept mine in like a dark cupboard for six to eight weeks. Okay. Um, I don't believe that it creates you to be more hungry. I think he was just saying that for the chickens. 
Does yeah, turmeric just make you hungrier? <laughs> I don't think so. But it is an anti-inflammatory. It probably does make you feel better. So, yeah, yes. mm -hmm. you know. So probably just see how you feel on it and see if it makes you feel better and you want to eat more yeah. because you feel better. That might mm -hmm. be a thing. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Ginger Ninja lives in a part of the country. She could probably grow turmeric in the ground as well. She lives in the southern mm -hmm. states. So if you live in the southern part of the United States, you can probably grow turmeric with no problem. But I unfortunately live in the northern part and it would not survive here. <laughs> Yeah. That's uh, a really you, good idea. I have a question. If you could grow that in a greenhouse, would you have to regulate the temperature? Now, <clears throat> if you grow it in a greenhouse, I would say she's in 7B. So I would say if you're growing it in a greenhouse, you probably overheat it in 7B. If you're growing it in a greenhouse here in Northeast Ohio, um, you definitely need it to be a heated greenhouse. A heated, okay. Yeah. That's okay, Cameron. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, Ginger, you live in a really nice area, a part of the country that you can just grow. You can grow the coolest things there, so. All our chicken curries have uh, turmeric in it. Let it be from the northern part of the India or southern part where I am from. Um, they use turmeric a, a lot in the curries. Uh, probably because we use a lot of spices inside in a curry, and um, it, it's it's not a it's not that healthy if you eat a lot of spices every day. So turmeric actually helps you uh, you know to contract all that negative things of using more spices right. when i say spices yeah i'm not talking about spice like rosemary or thyme and all i'm talking about uh, the hard stuff like really like um cardamoms or cinnamon uh, cloves a lot of cloves and uh, black peppers all of this come together they make a really hot concoction and uh, <laughs> so yeah. turmeric adding to the turmeric and it, it, it actually contracts with all that uh, too much uh, spicy stuff oh okay so if you okay that's good news uh homestead aquarius he said that he had it in his <laughs> greenhouse and if it reached around 65 degrees it goes dormant okay so you might want to be careful if it goes about 65 degrees Fahrenheit, it will go dormant. And then, you know, you will probably think like me that you killed it when you really didn't kill it. It's just sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, I, I would love to have a greenhouse as well. However, I would like to have a way to heat it that didn't cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a hot house. It's, and it's like a greenhouse and it's, it's pretty big. However, I don't heat it. So I wait till the temperature outside is warm enough and then I can put my plants in it. However, I would not put my plants in there in the heat of summer because it can get to about 120 degrees in there. <laughs> it's pretty hot. It is. It's just not a heated greenhouse. It's, it's a greenhouse, but it's not heated. <clears throat> I thought about like piping it and getting pipe and um, putting a wood burn burning stove outside and heating it all winter, but it would cost too much money, too much wood. It would just be ridiculous. So yeah. that's why I grow in my basement a lot because the temperature stays consistent down there and I have solar lights and heated pad mats and stuff like that. So I have like a grow room in my basement. You ever try to grind up turmeric leaves? They say you can use it, but I've never actually seen anyone do it before. 
What do you think? Have you grinded up your turmeric leaves before? I have seen people doing that in a mortar and a pestle for their tea. Um, we could also use a grinder, but mortar and pestle can actually uh, keeps the the flavor in it, and uh, uh, it becomes like greeny paste. It's, it's you can actually put that in a um, filtered uh, cloth or something. It's a, edible cloth not edible but clean cloth and use it as a tea dip i have seen people doing that nice yeah <laughs> yeah turmeric leaves and also fig leaves my fig tree started putting out leaves so i'll be making a tea soon out of fig leaves do you grow dates in india um not the ones that that uh, they grow in the east middle east uh, mm. side we have different dates they're like smaller in size um indian dates they call us the less flesh but more uh, bigger seed the oh, flesh okay. of the seed is like very less it is super tasty but it's not commercially good for you um, oh. yeah you can't actually make money out of them because you take a lot of uh, stuff to so many um, fruits to uh, extract pulp so yeah <clears throat> yeah homes aquarius if you're talking about a greenhouse yes i have an automatic window opener in my greenhouse so when it gets too hot it, it gets over like 70 degrees in the um greenhouse the window opens up automatically and i also like in the summertime most of the time i keep my door open um so that the air can circulate and i have a fan out there i have a heater out there in case it gets too cold one night in the spring um i got a lot of things in my greenhouse <laughs> um but there we go there's the turmeric and the honey in um the jar and we're gonna wait it out <laughs> I'm curious to know what it will be like in six weeks and eight weeks. You can do videos if you want. I'm curious to see yep. what it tastes like. I've never had turmeric honey before. I'm curious to know if it breaks it down. And um, I'm just curious to see what it tastes like. You know? The honey or the turmeric? The turmeric. The honey. The honey. The honey. <laughs> <Okay>. <clears throat> it keeps saying that it's disconnecting my chat. And I don't know why. That's kind of obnoxious. There we go. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm on the big screen still. Yep. Oh, sorry. You want to... What? You don't want to be the center of the show? <laughs> I feel comfortable now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's like a uh, spotlight. So I'm going to sprout some more, then I'm going to replant them. Okay. And I'm going to get a drip uh, yeah. system installed because it's going to be summer soon. And uh, it's very hard to water the plants twice a day. We can still do it, but it's better if you have a drip system. Yeah. yeah. Um. I have two gallon size bags of beef jerky made and working on two or three more bags. I think I finally might have enough to put some up. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Michelle, I would love to be able to grow it too. It's really, really good for you. I would probably grind it in a powder. Um, that's just me because I would, I would probably use it for different elements and stuff like that. Um, and also, uh, if you see any Indian marriages, uh, prior to the marriage, the bride gets uh, turmeric and sandalwood showers. They usually uh, um, put, uh, I mean, what do you call it? Apply on, their, on her hands and feet and all. Mm. Uh, 
uh, it's usually the family the bride's family does that and it's like uh, you you may have read this i'm not sure but uh, in the in the old testament times when ruth was uh, about to get married to the king she had she was gone through all of the showers uh, to cleanse her so i guess a, a similar thing they follow here in india is to uh, keep make the bride ready by uh, giving her showers with turmeric and sandalwood uh, how sandalwood, did they do that process do they um, they have a vat of turmeric do they just dump it on her i mean how does that work i don't know i'm curious <laughs> they uh, grind that into powders both of them the sandalwood and the turmeric and um, they in, they put water in it and they turn it into a paste not let it dry because once it is dried up you can't apply that on the skin so uh, maybe within few minutes once you mix up the concoction you apply it and uh, after some time all the water most of the water uh, evaporates the only thing that is left on your skin is that patches of it's like clay it looks like a clay but yeah. it's still yeah so yellow uh, clay like uh, structure then you don't apply soap okay because you'll not then you'll have some kind of reaction most of the people don't yeah. apply soap when they take shower so uh, yeah so they they pour some water then she goes into the bathroom then she takes a bath um and they repeat this process like maybe two weeks uh thrice or four times in a week wow um yeah so what does it, it do to your skin uh the brides actually glow a lot and they don't need makeup on the uh, day of their uh, that's marriage. amazing that's probably <laughs> like a really good herbal skin yeah thing <laughs> it's like a kind of a glowy uh, sunnish glow yellowish glow in their on the face you can just look at them and uh, you know that okay uh, this must be soon to be bright you know because uh, because of the glow I probably they're also be... happy <laughs> Yeah. For me, I always get like inflamed skin, like my face gets red and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I wonder mm -hmm. since turmeric is a anti-inflammatory, if applying it to your face would um, somehow mm -hmm. stop it, inflammation. Uh, uh, it actually, if you apply directly, it burns because it when burns. I was digging out the turmeric, it was burning uh, my hands all the you know the cuts that i had so if you use sandalwood then the burning sensation will go away you will not have that burning from the turmeric nice uh, but it does the cleaning i mean it opens all your pores up and um, because we are in the sun a lot even it actually works as a kind of a detan not exactly the stuff that you get from outside but it takes uh, uh, you know, it, it makes it look like you have gone through a, a saloon and got yourself detanned because it, all the glow will be there, so it cleans us away and all. That's very interesting. I didn't know that. How yeah. long? I mean, do they do? I know they they do the sandalwood and the turmeric. Do they do other herbal things before then, or is just that com combination? They also use um, another leaves and flowers as well i have seen some flowers i'm not sure what they call uh, in english i'll find it out um they'll they'll make face packs with this turmeric paste and the flowers the flowers actually will help you not to feel burning sensation but it cleans a lot so it's an organic face pack it's easy uh, you can make it at home and you can apply once or twice in a week uh, you know, uh, you don't have to get all the chemicals, but I will find the flower what they use. I usually, I uh, they usually grow uh, in the desert, deserted part, like where people are not there in the sense, like in the woods or uh, you know, deserted place, not trees, um, like grass, you know, like plains. Yeah, all these flowers sprouting up here and there. Interesting. So, 
Hello, I'll Bob, find, thank you for coming in. I'll find the flash. That's really interesting. I did not know that they did that. So that's really cool. It's good to, that's just neat to know other people's cultures. Also, I noticed that you guys use a lot of marigolds. Is that right? Do you use a lot of marigolds for your flowers and different things? Yes, a lot of them. Marigolds are considered as uh, both um, sacred flowers here and uh, they use it for both the purposes like birth and death so if you see um if you go to a temple you will see a lot of flowers and most of them are marigolds there are very few roses here and there but marigolds are the first choice that anybody uh, wants to buy before they go to a temple um they also actually take the petals out and uh, they'll they'll uh, what do you say they'll do the flower shower on you while chanting some mantras in few temples for special occasions for example I love that that's so yeah. cool hey if you go to um, uh, let's say that uh, you want to have children or kids so uh, you would go to a temple and uh, they would do that i have seen nice. people do that um, but also when you see somebody pass away like expired what people do here is we we still have this culture where we we take the uh, uh, dead person and uh, from the house from their home the person who passed away from their home to the uh, funeral place or the burial ground depends upon uh, you know whatever their uh, choice of funeral is they'll throw this marigolds in the air hmm. So you'll follow a trail and also they'll be announcing the name of the person each time they throw marigolds in the air. So it's like he lived a good life and uh, if you know him, then please come and join for his funeral. So people actually come up, they come to your funeral and see you get buried or, or you know, in other uh, stuff they do. And once you are buried, they'll put a lot of marigold flies. They, they cover it up with the earth then marigold flowers and you can see uh, candles and tea light candles but from that day to uh, one week time people actually visit that place and uh, put marigold garlands you can actually buy marigolds just the flowers in loose or you can actually buy them uh, which uh, you know which they are turned into garlands garlands are usually a little expensive because yeah. they're huge um, and they're usually huge i've seen yeah. pictures of them and they're like yeah. they, they're yeah. huge they lay on it's really cool though <laughs> they just cover up the whole body yeah uh, they use banana leaf uh dry banana leaf as fiber to uh you know uh, to make a garland out of marigolds so they don't use uh traditional twain or uh, uh, thread for that because the, it, it, it needs to be decomposed. So and no plastic and no other stuff, just banana leaf, dried banana leaf and marigolds. And also uh, you might have seen um, if, uh, if a person of interest comes to your home or to your, uh, uh, to your village, people actually make this huge garlands. Uh, we use dahlias now, but back in the day, people used to use chrysanthemums and uh, marigolds together, knitted and uh, you know uh, put on the person as a greeting a form of greeting uh, nowadays people use lilies as well uh, oh, okay. I, also, I also have grown lilies uh, last year do you but, grow the calla the calla lilies um the white lilies the uh, they white have ones? double petals and single petals both but okay. lily lily plants chickens love them <laughs> they they eat they they ate oh, the decimated okay, mine. I have I have those Chinese um they're called Oriental lilies. I have them, they get about five foot tall. They're huge. And they have like huge oh. heads on them. They're like this big, right? I noticed wow. that my chickens were over there in my flower bed. I pray that they were not eating like the seed remnants or eating the seeds of my Oriental lilies, because I'd be really mad. <laughs> yeah. My lilies were up to only two feet maximum. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, the ones that I have, like the one literally was six foot tall. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why it liked that area, but it did. It was like way taller than me. And its flower head was like this big. Really? It was so pretty. <laughs> How is the smell? Was it like really? Oh, they are. Mm -hmm. We have some here that are called Easter lilies. Uh -huh. And they're shorter. They're about yay tall, but they get that big white bloom on them. And mm -hmm. they just like they have them in the store right before Easter and mm -hmm. they just smell the stores. I mean, they just it, you could smell that yeah. lily. It smells so good. It's really powerful. Yes. They're really, I, really I love pretty. Smell. Yeah. Uh, I'm also growing jasmine. You mm -hmm. might have. Heard. That's really popular there and it's super expensive, isn't it? It is very expensive. Yeah. The, yeah. the perfume they extract from the flowers is very expensive. But the uh, thing is, the plant is cheap, like it costs you 100 rupees or um, if you want to buy a plant which is over a year, then you have to pay like 350 rupees maximum. Um, here, here it how it grows though. Once it grows with all the leaves and all, you might be expecting jasmine to sprout out because the tree is like really lush green with the leaves, but it won't do that. So you have to pluck the leaves away. Just leave the stems on. Yeah. The, just the stems on. Do you then have, they'll have the flowers. Yeah. Do you have like a um, PayPal on your channel? Me? Yeah. Um, my PayPal is not working because the bank that I use has uh, doesn't have Visa abilities in the sense i cannot have oh. send or receive cross-country money okay well if you get something money. set up let me know i know like a hundred rupees in american money is like a couple of dollars so if you get if you get your paypal set up please let me know and i will donate money to you so you can buy some jasmine plants okay <laughs> okay okay <laughs> thank you so let me know when you have it set up. Sure. I would like to do that for you. Thank you. They're super cool. I'd like to see you grow them and stuff. Do you have jasmine in uh, in your country? Not here. Not in, not not in my state. Not in my <laughs> I'm state. sure okay. in the southern states you could probably grow it there, but not here. Hello, dancing alone with rentals. Yeah, see, I, I, Fishes, Fishes lives in Florida, and she lives mm -hmm. in, like, the southern tip of Florida, mm -hmm. which is, like, closer to Miami and places mm -hmm. like that. So she can grow. She can grow stuff that you can grow. I, unfortunately, get snow, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that stuff does not grow here. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, if that you want to do that, <clears throat> let me know what you, what you get set up. You can do a Venmo. You can do Cash App. You can do all those things and if you can access the money let me know and i'll send you some money so you can get that started that would be really cool sure thank you and yeah fishes said that she'll donate too right. okay okay <laughs> thank you yeah <clears throat> all right yes yeah, stargazer mine aren't stargazer lilies though i forget what they're called or it, when i bought them i bought them at walmart they're pink and white and they're huge, but they were just called Oriental lilies. They very well could be called star stargazer lilies, um, but they're huge. And the bloom it might have really small hands, but the bloom is about the size of my hand. I mean, it's freaking huge. Mm -hmm. And they have these little um, like pulp things that come out of them. And they're little, I don't know what you would call that. They're, it's like a little, little stems that come out of them and mm -hmm. little um pollen things that hang from them and when the wind oh. blows the pollen things move them but oh, if you okay. walk past it or if you rub up against it you'll get pollen all over you <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's not a that's not a good thing <laughs> sometimes um, it goes into your mouth and your nose and all <laughs> yeah you know what we could do an amazon gift card too so yeah um, put your can you put your email address yeah, uh, here's the thing though. Amazon.com, uh, the only thing that you can access. And I can access only Amazon.in India. 
Oh, so our gift cards wouldn't work for you? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we got to figure out a way to get it to him. So PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, any of those. Like, I'd rather just donate the cash to you versus a gift card anyway. So let us know when you get it set up and we'll just do it. Yeah, maybe uh, once hmm. my channel reaches 1K, perhaps maybe the super chats may work. I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, I'll find out. I'll I'll uh, ask other fellow YouTubers who are in India who uh, you know who, who did that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Then I have. That's exactly what I have. Fishes is I have a stargazer. It's um. It's it's that white, one. but it's pink striped. It's not. It's real. They're really pretty. Hmm. What is this? Star what? Fishes lives in a tropical America where crocodile tubes hang um, out in many Miami Vice. What? And what makes me Daisy Duke? What? I was very confused by that. Does it make Crocky Daisy Duke? No super chats till you get get like court. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you have to get a thousand. Yeah. You have to get a thousand subs and you have to get four thousand hours before you can do super chats, unfortunately. Yeah. That will take a year, <laughs> but yeah. So we have to send you a visa. Yeah, I wonder if we could do that. We'll figure out a way. We'll figure it out. I never okay. watched Miami Vice ever. I think I missed that portion. Like I never watched it or seen it. Oh, okay. Well, we can do that. Um, where to begin? We'll figure it out, and then we'll send it to him. I can probably send it to him WhatsApp or through email. What is that eighty show, Hendo? No drug running in my life. <laughs> That's funny. Um, uh, I see comments coming up late. Like after you read them, I I can see them coming up. Oh, Let's are see. you reading it on YouTube or are you reading it on Melon? Right here. I mean, on the Melon. That's why okay. melon is delayed. Oh, okay. I've been, I'm reading them on YouTube first. Oh, okay. That's why. Um, did you guys see that video that I put in the mod chat? It's freaking hilarious. This person is just like walking in the woods and a beaver comes out of nowhere <laughs> and it taps him on the leg and literally i don't know if beavers if maybe this was an older beaver and it couldn't see very well but the guy just stood there like didn't move and the beaver comes out of the water and literally bumps him on the leg and walks past him and then goes back in the water i'm like he just got bumped by a beaver <laughs> it was funny not a viewer. <laughs> All the comments were like, oh, you are so lucky that beaver didn't bite you. <laughs> beaver blessings. <laughs> hey. But, okay, so one thing I would like to do is thank everybody for being members of my channel. I am searching for members. So if you want to be a permanent member of Y Family Farm, it's 99 cents a month. That's $12 a year. And would like to I'd like for you to be members if, you know, you want to. I have, I've had people that have been around for months. I've been mm -hmm. doing this for a couple years now. And so, um I've had people that have been members since the very beginning. So we are looking for members. Um, and it's like I said, it's 99 cents a month. It's $12 a year. And um, you could be a member of the channel. And it's so much fun. We have a great time. Oh, Garden State Garter just gifted a membership. Thank you for gifting that. I really appreciate it. Um, our memberships is called the Poop Troop. I do have three different tiers, and the second tier is $2.99, the third tier is $5.99, the second tier is $12,000 farms, 
if you want to be a member. Um, that way, you're still a poop trooper. Um, you just It's $2.99 a month, and you get to help out the farm, and you get more videos and stuff like that. So uh, I'd really appreciate if you would like to join. Um, it keeps my channel alive. It keeps us going um, as a business as well. Green Granny, thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. <clears throat> Fishes, but I think Dustin would love the cool jumping in the car window on there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Garden State Garter, for supporting the channel and um, handing out those memberships. I really appreciate it. Oh, he's got a cheese. A Homestead Aquarius does not have a pooper. He has a floppy cheeseburger. <laughs> we all know what that means. <laughs> Is there anything else that you guys have any questions about? Um, about the turmeric honey, um, about anything like that. At the end of this month, I'm doing tons of research on <clears throat> um, antibiotics, on natural antibiotics. And so um, hopefully at the end of this month, we can do a discussion. Um, I'm not going to be teaching a whole lot of stuff. It's just be like an open discussion on herbs and stuff like that at the end of this month. So if you are a member, you will be able to access that members only um, educational thing. Yeah, he's not selling the black market poops anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> That's okay, William. Thank you so much, though, for being um, in the side chat. I appreciate it. Does turmeric help with diabetes? <clears throat> Honestly, I <clears throat> I don't know if it will help with diabetes. I think things like cinnamon will really help um, because cinnamon messes with your hormones and it will lower your blood sugar and your blood pressure if you mm -hmm. are allergic to it. So you can take, I know some people that take a spoonful of cinnamon and put it in their coffee or tea every day, or they take, they take cinnamon pills. You can take cinnamon pills as well. And that helps with diabetes tremendously. Um, however, make sure you're not allergic. Honestly, I would talk to your doctor before you do any regimen of anything, because I am not a doctor. I just talk about things that possibly could help. I am really into herbs and I believe that it could help, but I can't tell you that. I mean, mm -hmm. that's just my personal belief and I am not a doctor. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, so yeah. do your own research as well. But cinnamon is really good for diabetes. <clears throat> um, can I say something? Sure. Uh, I usually eat 100 grams of curds in the morning on empty stomach and uh, that helps if you are having turmeric later or any kind of Indian spicy food uh, it's going to suit like in the sense you'll not get your belly hurt that's what uh, my belly doesn't hurt if I eat curds in the morning and uh, right after if I eat, eat something spicy Cuts that you have to make it your own, own home, like not from the store bought. They have some preservatives and all, but if you could actually make them in your home, it's easy. Um, when you said curds, you mean what? Cheese curds? I'm confused. Milk curds. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, warm milk with, with uh, either mix it with old curds like two tablespoons mix it up get it to room temperature then freeze it freezing will actually turn that into a solid cake you could use it as a spoon and eat it directly some people use sugar but i don't use sugar i don't want to use sugar uh, yeah you haven't you done sugar in a while have you because the other day yeah. you were talking about how you were feeding for sugar like i need sugar this is ridiculous <laughs> I started this uh, two week sugar, zero sugar challenge. <laughs> and I'm continuing that actually. I feel great. Uh, inflammation is really down in my body. Um, I don't get 
cravings a lot uh, that I used to. Even hunger cravings are gone because if I eat something with sugar or drink something with sugar, I usually get hungry and all the time. So that is not there. Um, uh, but I did ask about the plant that you use, Korki, on your on your um, food in in place of sugar. You said stevia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we spoke about that previously, and uh, Garden State Gardener said he's he. Oh, did he send have. this the seeds to you yet, or no? Uh, he was going uh, to. No. I yeah, yeah, no. Uh, maybe he will after he after he finds some more. I guess um, we discussed after he sent me the uh, seeds. Oh, so okay. I got one. Yeah, I got one mail with the stickers and all. Uh, probably in the next one. I'm not sure. But once I get it, I'll plant it and I'll grow and I'll make a video on it uh, to see how it thrives here, whether it works in my soil or atmosphere or not. Because I really want to use that. I'm not going to go back to sugars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah stevia, stevia is really good. And here in the, <laughs> here in the U.S., like you can get it anywhere. They mix mm -hmm. it with Splenda. They mix it. There's all different kinds of different types of stevia. And um, mm -hmm. I grew it. And I can I mixed, actually, when I made my own teas, um, I actually used the stevia leaves. I chopped them up really good and mm -hmm. put it in with, like, my whorehound or put it in with, you know, regular different mint, my mint. That way I don't have to use sugar at all. I can just use my little tea bag thing. It's in there, the sugar's in there and it's all ready to go. It's just, you know, you can you can make it however you want, really. Yeah. So peppermint leaves and stevias. Yep. Right? Okay. Cool. Yeah, you just have to watch because it can get really sweet. So use like a couple okay. leaves in it or whatever. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, I just used it like tea leaves. I put yeah. like a couple leaves in with my tea. Okay. Loose can tea. You know, you can buy those loose tea things. Bags. Yeah. Can we uh, sun dry them, then turn it into a powder and use it like a, you know, uh, like how we use sugar or salt? Can we, we can, can we do that with stevia leaves? Yeah. Okay. Do they still retain that uh, sugary uh, flavor or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can dehydrate it. It's like a leaf. It's a leaf, so you can just dehydrate it. How we do with the curry leaves, right? Same case. Yeah. Order. Okay, fine. All right. That that would be great. Yeah. I wouldn't bake. I wouldn't bake or anything with that. There is a process <laughs> to make it like um, to make it like a sugar. There is a process. I don't know how to do that, but. Um, I wouldn't bake with that. That's not mm -hmm. something you would bake. Like if you want to add it to your tea or something like that, you could do it like that. That's fine. But I wouldn't bake with that. You're going to have like little green granules all over your cake or it's just not going to taste right. So I wouldn't yeah. bake with that method. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> the other day I had French toast. It's usually with the sugar, right? So instead I used... Um, red chili peppers and oh. little salt <laughs> it's it's different but it was good with eggs and all it was yeah, it was different. yeah. Hmm. i like french toast i've been making it a lot lately but i've been putting i've been putting vanilla in with my eggs a little bit when i make it uh -huh. <laughs> it makes it taste really good <laughs> so yeah we have vanilla extracts here but I'm sure. I'm pretty sure they're not from vanilla plants. <laughs> it just says flavor. I'm sure it's not a real one. Uh, <laughs> but I did see on Amazon they are they were selling vanilla plants uh, that can grow wow. in my area as well. Uh, I would give a try after summer. Perhaps in in the month of the summer would go away. Month of June, May ending. Uh, June is uh, June and July is a place where, uh, sorry, not place. The time where you see all the flowers in bloom, and you get rains. So I have to get some water. 
I'll be right back. Yeah. <coughs> Vanilla and cinnamon, so good in French toast. And also waffles. You know, I never had waffles in my life. I have seen them in movies. I have seen how they uh, make in a waffle iron. And I also seen them in a cartoons where um, the, the rat usually hits the uh, cat with a waffle iron. And the cat's face is all like waffle shape. <laughs> yeah, that's just fun. Uh, I don't know whether you can get a waffle iron in here. Um, we do have a cast iron, but uh, we also don't have maple syrup uh, because we don't have maple trees. So most of, if you if you talk about uh, an American breakfast, the ingredients uh, we I never heard of. Or I never, never tasted. For example, I never had bacon. Mm. But if we did have bacon, probably we'll put some turmeric and chili peppers on it, <laughs> or red chili powder on it. I, I think so. And I, I'm sure that because uh, when we think about meat, meat has to be spicy. Meat has to be hot. It has to have that red chili powder and uh, chili peppers on it or black pepper on it some kind of pepper sorry guys i had a coughing spell <clears throat> needed some water wish you could get a waffle maker i wish i had a waffle maker oh i love waffles sorghum yeah we have sorghum <clears throat> Real vanilla, real maple syrup. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, Corky, do you have this plant called uh, Cycus? I've never heard of it. Okay. So, Cycus, hopefully, I'm pronouncing that in a proper way. Cycus yeah. plants, uh, they're around two or three feet, yeah. but maybe half foot in diameter. They look like uh, pineapple heads, but the trunk is like really straight up, really hard. What they do here is they they um, chop off the leaves and the roots off, take the trunk, and uh, extract the trunk pulp into balls like structure. We call it as sabudan. Now this sabudan looks like seeds, but they are not seeds. These are extract plant extract. And you can make dessert pudding and porridge out of this. Is this Sorted. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Sago palm, huh? That's the uh, that's the name they said. Sago palm. Okay. Yeah. Cycus. Yes. Cool. People usually usually use it as an ornament, but <laughs> uh, we make dessert and puddings out of that extract so good so tasty um young uh, if you if you have like a toddler who is like not eating food because most of the time they keep running out running around and if they get fever or sick uh, this is a this is what mothers used to feed them because it is easy, easy digestible yeah and uh, it feels like frog eggs you know like rubbery <coughs> Uh, not frog eggs. I never ate frog eggs. It looks like a frog egg, but yeah, it's kind of rubbery. But if you crush it, it goes like that. It's so tasty. Cycus. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Tapioca, yes, tapioca is a root. Huh? Tapioca, they make. I, I had tapioca chips the other day. Oh, so, tapioca, yeah, they're so hard. I mean, hard to bite in, not yeah. like potato chips. You know. I like potato chips. Yeah, tapioca sounds really good. I love. Tapioca pudding, so good. Uh, do they make chips out of sweet potatoes? I never heard, but mm -hmm. they do that. Okay. 
Also, they make, fr they make french fries out of them. They make everything out of them now. Out of sweet potatoes? Wow. Yeah. I should try like that. an alternative here. Like, <clears throat> a lot of people get, like, sweet potato fries or... I know there's restaurants here, like... This is so unhealthy, by the way. But um, a lot of restaurants here, like, instead of, like... People get a steak and a potato... Mm -hmm. as like their dinner but a lot of restaurants will give you a sweet you can have a sweet potato if you want so they'll bake a sweet they'll bake a sweet potato and they'll put cinnamon and sugar on it and mm -hmm. butter and all that oh, wow. and like all that stuff that's so horrible for you <laughs> so you can have that with your steak as well <laughs> i i really want to taste steak one day i really want to taste bacon one day You've never and, had bacon uh, or steak? Nope. No, oh, that's I, everywhere here in America, like everywhere. <laughs> I've seen in the movies people eating, you know, it's like chop them off and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you eat with a hand though? I mean, did you ever see a person eating a st eating the steak with a hand, with their hands? I did yesterday. You did? <laughs> yeah, I, went to, I went to a restaurant and got a steak salad. And I just oh, picked wow. it and ate it. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess you can. That's cool. <laughs> Here, it's really popular to get a steak salad. So mm -hmm. they make a steak, they chop it up, they'll throw it on your salad. Usually, it's super unhealthy. They'll put, like, a load of French fries on top of it. Oh. Yeah. Maybe we can actually have on a cheat day, you know, like a Friday. Yeah. Or <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yeah, it's not something you definitely you definitely don't want to eat that every day. You would die. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> That's like the king on on, <laughs> yeah. on the crapper. Yeah, I've heard about that. <laughs> okay, guys, do you have any questions about the turmeric honey infusion? We did that earlier. If you missed it, you can go back and watch. Um, and if you have questions later, you can put it in the comments later, and I will try to answer the questions as best I can. Yep. <clears throat> and thank you so much for coming in today. We've already been on for a couple hours. Um, so thank you so much for being here today. Star, did you have anything that you would like to say before we end the, the program? Um, we'll open that together in six weeks, see what happens, and I'll boil that on live. Okay, on sounds good. Time. That would be great. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Um, if you guys have any questions about honey infusions, <clears throat> you can always email me or message me. Also, I have um, a members only video talking about honey infusions as well. Mm -hmm. um, so you, if you are a member, you could access that video. Thank you guys for coming in today. Thank you, Star, for doing this. This is really awesome. We got to learn more about turmeric and how to grow it and all that cool stuff. I really am interested. And we will see you all next time. And y'all have a good afternoon. Also, I believe I'll be going live tonight at 11. So you can feel free to join us in the poop troop tonight at 11. And y'all have a good night. Good night. Good night.